draw with Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday leaves them exactly midway, 11th in the table, but it really should have been much, much better. Somewhere in that great list of football cliches, there's the immortal game of two halves. Derby threw this one away, having done all the hard work before the break. Nigel Callahan may not be happy at the baseball ground, but he's still turning on the style, sometimes to his pain, sometimes to his delight, setting up the first goal, Gregory's header leaving the keeper stranded. And if Wednesday were in a mess then, two minutes later it happened all over again. It was Forsyth with the final touch, but what a letdown in the Sheffield Wednesday defence. They even decided it was fair game to kick a man when he's down. Sterland booked for this, even if no lasting damage was done. But it was beginning to look like Derby's finest hour, or at least their finest 45 minutes, even if they do need a bit of shooting practice. 2-0 up at the break and a standing ovation. But after the interval, it was all too easy for Wednesday. Derby's defenders wooden, hardly a challenge in the box. And after the goal, Wednesday more than eager to get straight back on with it. Derby was simply falling apart. G sliding into the post there, some anxious faces to see whether he was OK. He was, but they were more anxious to find out what went wrong for Wednesday's second. Sterland, the man floored. He eventually got up, converted it himself for 2-2. And it could have been worse for Derby. Fortunately, Mark Wright was still in the mood for a fight, chasing back to stop Wednesday nicking all three points. But by then, it was too late. They had to be content with the draw, and even Peter Shilton knew that Derby had simply blown it.